What's going on, Geminis? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back with another Omnibus haul. Kind of a crazy haul with some crazy stories behind it. We got a good mix of things, so stay tuned and we're going to get into it. All right, y'all. First things first, we got that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Year 2 Deluxe Edition. I got the Year 1 the day it came out through in-stock trades and it ended up becoming a whale of a book. I think it's like crazy asking prices for it on Amazon and on eBay and such. I ordered this one on day one and I got an email from in-stock trades saying, yo, we oversold it. We don't have any more. My bad. I was like, damn. So I went on Amazon, scooped one up and they shipped it. Luckily, I got it. But thanks to Amazon's packaging, as always, I'm a little bit dinged up. But I'm happy to have it, man. I know uh, these these smaller publishers like Boom Studios or even Dark Horse, it's not like Marvel and DC, man. They have like limited numbers of these brand new books. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, it has a $75 cover price, um, collects year two, and I, I don't know how caught up I am on Power Rangers, but this collects issues 13 through 24. Well, I guess it's annual from 2016 and then the annual from from 2017 yeah because i think i've read like all of year one in the first trade paperback that came afterwards so i have to see where i'm at this would be a good recent read so i think manimal might uh do one for y'all anyway so power rangers let's take a look at the artwork go go power rangers doo, 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 doo. go go power rangers you mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Power Rangers is, 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 is dope, man. Good art. Story's cool. Look at this. Austin St. John, Red Ranger. Got a forward. Okay. They had that whole Drax and thing. Is that his name? The White Green Ranger from the Evil Parallel Universe. Yeah, they were all green for a while. I did read that one. Love me some Power Rangers. It's dope, man. Look at this. Teleporting in. You got the Zords. Rita. What's his name again? Pugsley? Or is that the other guy? I don't remember. Oh, Babu is that guy. Yeah. It must be part of the annual. Dee, 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 dee. They have dope look dope uh, variants, man. That's tight. Lord Zed. Oh, it's cool like a card. Action figure variants. It's cool because you it would be expensive to collect every single variant. These uh, deluxe editions have all the variants in there. Uh, next up, we have the Silver Surfer by Dan Slott and Jason Allred. And Michael Allred. Uh, I like most of Dan Slott's Spider-Man stuff, but I got to be honest, I am not a fan of Michael Allred's artwork at all. Uh, I believe he also did Ecstatic, which I always looked at that book like, ugh, how could you even read this? But, you know, you got to get you a Silver Surfer Omnibus when it comes out. Collects 1 through 15 from the 2014 series, 1 through 14 from the 2016 series, and an all new Marvel Now point one. <sighs> Not my style of artwork at all, but let's take a look at it together and see if we can see anything we like out of it. Actually, when... uh. The Power Rangers Volume 2 didn't ship from in-stock trades. They're like, do you want to substitute it with something else? And it was like already the next Tuesday. And I was like, yeah, just throw in that Silver Surfer. So I think I got this for like 50% off with free shipping, even though it only ended up being like 30 bucks because the cover price is only 75 Yeah, I don't like Surfer's eyes, how it has like that Spider-Man mask kind of look. <sighs> Logo looks like the 60s or something. I mean, you figure the run couldn't have been that good if... The first volume was only 14 issues, and then 
The second volume is only 16 issues. It obviously stopped for a reason, right? Wraparound cover. Would be cool if the art was better. Let's take a look at this. Somebody look at this. I've read some of this, man. I think this came out with Marvel Now. And I remember picking it up. That's a dope variant. I remember picking it up, and yeah, he's got this girl that, like, rides with him everywhere now. Yeah, they go to this crazy city, like, looking like some Rocco's Modern Life type stuff. Mm. Not my type of artwork. Comment below if you're a Michael Allred fan and tell me why. What? looks whack man is the story any good next up is american vampire by scott snyder which i actually had this for a couple of weeks now it's an omnibus that came out when nothing else came out in that week and i just had it shipped in by itself so i was waiting for stuff to come out to do a haul video and i think i i've been sitting on it for like three or four weeks i wasn't even aware of this title i started seeing uh, i think gabe posting it uh, Gabe Infinity Watch in like the Omnibus Collectors Facebook group. And uh, I was like, well, damn, Scott Snyder is dope. Uh, he did a vampire run. I never knew. But it sounds awesome. It is um, has a $100 cover price. It collects American Vampire 1 through 27 and American Vampire Survival of the Fittest 1 through 5 and American Vampire Lord of Nightmares 1 through 5. So, I'm interested to see what this is all about. Not sure when I'm going to get to it, but we're going to try to do it. All right, so this is titled as a volume one. So, I guess there's more material that they can collect here. American Vampire, DC Vertigo. Here goes the back. All right, here goes the actual hardcover. Looks like it wraps around a little bit. Pretty classy. All right, all right. Ooh, okay. Little table of contents. A little intro. You gotta love you some Scott Snyder, so. Let's check this out. I never even heard of this until the omnibus. Lurking in the shadows. Mm-hmm. It looks good. All right. Story time. Right now we have the Colossal King Conan. This is a huge book. Absolute uh, sized kind of format without the slip case. Um, the Colossal King Conan a first book is this huge oversized book that uh, went whale status. And Dark Horse released this and King Conan Sumerian, which is like the same size. It's like an orange book. Around, the, I think in the same month, both of them sold out on in-stock trades within seconds. I didn't even see them on there. And um, immediately Diamond had it as out of stock. So right away you knew in-stock trades wasn't going to get any more. So I started going to Amazon. I went to Amazon, put it in the order for this and put in for Sumerian. Luckily this one shipped, but right away the Sumerian one, everybody was saying, look, Amazon's saying they don't have any right now, they might get some later, but we know Diamond is out of stock, so where are they getting it from? AKA they ain't getting it. So 
I didn't get Sumerian. Uh, I started posting in the groups like, like, yo, who wants to sell me one? You know, a lot of y'all just bought it just to flip. But um, somebody was like, yo, snatched off Amazon UK. So sure enough, I went on Amazon UK. They had it in stock. I bought it. it ended up costing me maybe. It, it's going to end up costing me like cover price, but fuck it. And um, it shipped, yo. It shipped yesterday. So my next haul video, I should have the other one. And then we're going to find out that no one cares about Conan anyway. No, nah, I'm playing. But yeah, this has a $100 cover price. Let's see what this collects. I should do a recent read on these Conan. I mean, I see, I flipped through the artwork already. It looks dope. So this collects issue 15 of Conan the Sumerian. So maybe this takes place after that book. I have to double check before I read them. Issues 1 through 4 of King Conan the Scarlet Citadel. Issues 1 through 4 of King Conan Phoenix on the Sword. 1 through 6 of The Hour of the Dragon. Also collects uh, King Conan the Conqueror and King Conan Wolves Beyond the Border. So published by Dark Horse. These books are already pff, you know, sold out, rare, sought after books. Has the ribbon. So we'll, we'll flip through the artwork. The artwork looks sick, man. It makes me definitely want to jump into this, especially with all the hype that was around it, you know? All right, so this is a huge book. It has a dust jacket. Here is the cover, Colossal King Conan. Here's the spine, can't even fit in the video. And here's the back. Great looking painted uh, artwork on the back. Here goes the artwork on the front of the actual hardcover. So the first book was Colossal Conan. This is Colossal King Conan. I like how it has a built-in ribbon for the bookmark. Take a look at some of the artwork. Artwork looks good, man. They have actually a, a Marvel Conan book coming out, and they just announced a volume two as well. So they're pushing out a bunch of Conan stuff. You know, different. This is the Dark Horse stuff, though. Ooh, okay. Looks like here's covers on the back, sketches, extras. All right, y'all, that was my omnibus haul for today. I mean, technically, it was only one omnibus, a deluxe edition. Well, actually, two omnibus and two deluxe editions. Uh, drop me a like on the way out, man. It always helps out to support the video and, and get the numbers up. Drop me a comment. What do you think of the haul? What are your thoughts on these books? Uh, kind of crazy, the, the the Conan and the Power Rangers book. Both of them are already like sold out, man. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more hauls. We drop something every day. Although, we're getting into like holiday season. It might not be every day for a little while, but we'll see. I'm still trying to... I still got plans to crank something out every day. Because we always want it to be something worthwhile, you know? Um, thanks for watching. And uh, you guys stay minty fresh. Till next time. Peace. Peace.